Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about desktop applications. So let's get into it. Um, well, technically the question here is, is it still worth building desktop applications? And I think that's a great question. Uh, I suppose that we need to touch a little bit on what we mean by a desktop application, because I'm suspecting that the person who is asking this question is kind of excluding computer games from this, like they're putting games in their own category, even though computer games is by far and wide the most, like it's more common to have a, I mean, that is a desktop application for the most part, unless it's a mobile game, of course, or a web game or something like that. But it's fairly common that, you know, a computer game is a desktop application, even though we might not think about it that way. Because quite a lot of people, I suspect, think about desktop applications as editors like Photoshop or something like that, or video editors, Microsoft Excel, like workflow type of things where you do office work, stuff like that, right? So when it comes to the way that the industry is moving to right now, it used to be the case that these applications were the norm that you actually had because the web at the time wasn't really all that developed, if you like we're talking about <clears throat> a few years back. But today we're moving much more towards web-based work. And although I would say that desktop applications still have a very strong use case for certain things, we are more and more seeing that the web is taking over a lot of that work. The browser is very, so, well, slowly, becoming the one fit solution or like the one platform to rule everything, right? And it's just continuing in that direction. Even games and computer games might actually not that far of a distant, uh, not, not that distant future, be something that you more actually write for the browser as opposed to just making it a desktop application. That's still a few years. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be quite a while before that happens, at least on an equal playing field, but it's moving in that sort of direction. And if we think about the amazing different, I mean, the Office package as an example, which is like by far, Microsoft's Office package is, I would probably argue one of the most, if not the most successful suite of desktop applications in the world and in history. I mean, even that has a counterbalance in so Google has uh, and other companies have like web-based services that actually fulfill this need as well. So it's, uh, it's moving towards the web. But then, on, then there are applications that still aren't really at the point where it makes sense for you to keep them in the, like to not use, I mean, it still makes sense to make them a desktop application. Like my favorite desktop applications is, Slack and Visual Studio Code, which is, you know, it's one, it's my text editor, the thing that I use to do most of my web-based work. And these things are desktop applications. And I think, I mean, it makes quite a lot of sense that they are desktop applications. I mean, some desktop, desktop applications are necessary, not just because you need access to the file system, although some will argue that it's possible to do quite a lot of things through the web and it's absolutely possible to do quite a lot of things through the web. There are certain things that even if you could do it through the web doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And an example of that is when you have to have security considerations. Now, I don't know about you, but I work with code and data and things of this nature, which is sensitive. And that means that I have to consider security in a, in a broader fashion. If you work for a bank or if you work for the government or things of this nature, you might not actually, I mean, it doesn't even have to be that pharma, in the pharmacy industry, it might be a very similar situation where you cannot just use the web and in any fashion you want because it's very important to the organization you're working for to keep things on your laptop, to just really, really make sure that you keep everything from going over the network. Because there's a lot of malicious people out there who target your organization for some reason. In my world, that's the bank. Who knew that hackers are really interested in banks? Don't know why, can't see any reason why they're... Yeah, anywho. So, that sort of application would be a really poor investment for a web for a web application. I mean, if I'm writing code in my editor, I want it to be local to my computer because I don't want my code to leave my system until I'm good and ready to actually in a secure manner run it somewhere else. You can, of course, do it. It's not that you can't create an all web-based editor that just use that way you use the browser. 
it's possible and I mean some people are actually doing this it's just that I can still see that being uh, having a security perspective on things is actually a very valid reason f as to why desktop applications might actually stick around kind of indefinitely. I don't think that we will ever get to a point where desktop applications get a second wind and become as big as they were because things are very clearly moving towards the web. But I see that there is still a use case for making desktop applications. So what I want you to take away from this is that investing in learning how to do make like desktop applications, it very much depends on the sort of thing that you want to make. If you're interested in these other bit more specific use cases for desktop, for, for applications, which usually fits on desktops, which is games development or Slack systems, like uh, as I said, Slack is a very good example of a chatting system that may, fits very well on a desktop application, although you still have browser support for it as well. And you know, text editors or things of this nature, or if you have that security perspective, you really need to make a system where people can be productive and be feel very confident that everything that they're doing is staying local to their computer, so it's not going over some network or anything like that, then the desktop application makes a lot of sense. But you should know that the trend is moving towards web. Have a great day.